So hello everyone, welcome and my name is Simon Crawford from Marineware. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, we're going to go through a multi-purpose resins and uh, a new Ampro system from Gurit. Um, joining us today we have Phil Aikenhead from Gurit. And, uh, Hi everybody. And there he is. So Phil's um, Phil's been with Gurit for a long time now and uh, is an uh, ex-boat builder and uh, has many talents, I'm sure he'll uh, tell us about uh, some of his stories along the way. Um, moving on next in the, within the team, we have uh, Chris, who's from the Marineware team. Chris, uh, if you could uh, wave and say hello to a few people. Hello. Uh, now, uh, last but very much uh, by no means least, we have both Steve and Martin over in the labs in Gurit on the Isle of Wight. Hi, Steve. Hi, guys. So uh, uh, the guys over there um, through this process uh, will go over to those to do some practical sessions. First of all, we'll have a quick uh, run through on the um, uh, agenda. Um, this is the one that we sent out to everybody. So we're going to quickly just discuss what is a multi-purpose epoxy? What is the new Ampro? Um, second of all, a big issue that most of us have had, some of us might know, we've not known we've had it, but is amine blush. What is it? Um, what does it mean? And uh, where are we now with it? Filler powders, um, how do we turn our general purpose thing from laminating to gluing to fairing and all those sorts of things? And um, we're going to talk about a few laminating tips with a with a with a multi-purpose resin as well. Um, and we're going to talk about timber, how we seal it, um, how we clear coat it, and things like that. And lastly, we're just going to finish off with bio resins or other environmentally friendly products and what Gerrit are doing to try and move us along in that world. So let's start uh, and move over. And the first thing I'm going to ask Phil is um, the old SP106, it, it was a complete stalwart of the industry. We've been using it forever. So why are we changing it, Phil? Yeah, that's a very good question, Simon. Um, you know, in a, in a nutshell, SP106 is around 30 plus years old as a general purpose epoxy resin system. It was formulated by SP systems, you know, all, all, those, all those moons ago. Um, Gurit, who took over SP um, probably more than 15 years ago now, is a technologically driven company. Uh, we want to be the market leader in epoxy resins for laminating general purpose um, and, and also a myriad of other marine based resin systems. Um, today there are better epoxies around, there are uh, better ways of formulating um, which are safer for the end user. And there are also much better build processes around today. We've become better at building. We've become better at developing uh, resin systems. So, so we've come up with with Ampro system to replace a lot of our old legacy systems. Oh, well, fair enough. Well, let's talk a little bit about the the new Ampro system um, and what makes it better. I, I think safer safer is probably the first thing we talk about. So we have a lot of new regulations around the chemical industry. Uh, a lot of the older formulations are uh, not the nicest things to use uh, as SP106. Um, you know, could could uh, not be the pleasantest epoxy laminating or general purpose system. So so safety, health and safety for the end user comply with uh, the regulations that are set upon us for chemicals. Um, reach being the name one and we wanted to provide a system that's going to be around for the next 30 years uh, and, and not be outlawed by by other um, chemical uh, restrictions that we have. Uh, you know epoxies are strong, uh, they have a degree of flexibility, we wanted to keep those as, as real key features so it's a, it's a real balance of strength, uh, flexibility uh, and performance in marine environment. Um, you know, you asked me why why we uh, brought Ampro out. I mean, Simon would have said to me year on year, when can we have a new general purpose system that cures a bit faster in colder temperatures? And uh, that that's something we've done. You can cure this down at five degrees C, so much better in in you know frosty, wintry, you know, uh, unclimate, climatically controlled conditions. So so that's something we've addressed. I think the new system is a lot uh, better gloss appearance to it. It doesn't reticulate as much as the old systems. It's tack free. There's no amine blush. Uh, we've brought in a waterproof silica, so much better resistance to, to wa water. Um, so th there's, a, there's a few, you know, there's quite a few key points as we go through this presentation. I think we'll we'll touch on most of them, uh, you know, a few more times, but w we've tried to revisit the whole range better packaging, um, some environmental certification on our bio-based products, 
um, and, and simpler and easier for the for the end user to understand. So you don't have a, a range of lots of different kind of hardeners and resin systems. You have you have a nice simple system uh, that's tack free, has a nice wide overcoding window, and, and hopefully performs in all the areas that we want it to perform in. You know, out of the out of the back of your van, in your boat, you know, all all these places where we use we tend to use general purpose epoxy systems. So we'll talk more about them, but hopefully that'll give you just an overview of most of the aspects we've tried to address by formulating the AMPRO system. Thank you, Phil. That's perfect. So um, what we'll do now is we'll go over and see uh, Steve and Martin over in the lab. Now, I know Steve has been heavily involved in developing the AMPRO product, so um, um, he'll be uh, able to tell us a, a lot more about it. Hi, so this is uh, the AMPRO system. So it, the standard AMPRO and its hardener. I've pre-weighed these out to make my life easier for the demonstration purposes. Um, basically, the handling of the mixing is exactly the same as the old. Uh, mix ratio this time round is three to one um, by volume, so no issues there. Uh, quite easy to work with. Now, I've just put the two components together. We now need to mix them together. Like all epoxies, you're not, you've got to make sure you get a decent mix. So what I'm going to do here is quickly cut the end of my lolly stick off because quite a lot of us if you're using our lovely pots have a nice square corner and when you mix them with an ordinary mixing stick you don't get into the corner and get all of the mix uh, blended together so uh, unless you really want me to get bored here i'm going to be here for a couple of minutes now uh, mixing this these two together ensuring i pick up all the way around the outside of the pot across the bottom and give it a gentle mix uh, no need to be too aggressive with it you don't need to fill it full of air bubbles um, so one of the issues here will obviously be I've got now quite a reasonable quantity in quite a small pot. Um, this is going to in induce heat. The, the, the more bulk of uh, the resin together will induce more heat. If you want to extend your pot life a bit um, to give you a bit more working time, pour that out into an open tray, paint tray type object, tray, dish, just to give us a bit more surface area. That'll allow the heat to disperse from you. So from a basic point of view between the new and the old, use as is. There's no difference at all. Steve, thank you very much. Um, stay online for a little bit for us there because we're just going to go over to uh, um, questions from Chris. Um, um, have we got any over there, Chris? Uh, yeah, the, the first question in, is the Ampro epoxy system good for repairing GRP boats? I'm assuming they mean polyester. Um, um, Phil, I'll, I'll probably aim that one at you actually, if that's okay. Yeah, sure, absolutely, Simon. You know, I would always say, let's talk about boat repair from from the outside in rather than the inside out and if you want to repair a, a, a grp a polyester built vessel um, you know a ding in the side of your dinghy or what have you you've got to decide whether you're going to um, want a, a gel coat finish again or you, you're happy to paint it if you're happy to paint it then let's repair it with epoxy it's a fantastic repair material it's a natural adhesive in its own right whereas polyester is not so adhesive in, in its in its own resin form. Uh, so yeah, you can repair your old polyester boat. I say old, as long as the laminate's fully cured, um, you know, fresh polyester and, and epoxy don't like each other too much. And that's because styrene has to come away from the polyester resin system. So, you know, in a nutshell, epoxy is a wonderful repair material. I would always use it over anything else, but you have to make the consideration, you know, painted surface or gel coat um, and just think about it a little bit cleverly but it is it is unique and and and, and very worthwhile to to repair your grp boat with if i remember rightly when uh, uh when we're using the old 106 and back in the day you know when when you're using new polyester or new polyester it's got this sort of green phase where it gets what we call a primary bond a chemical bond and um but actually when you're trying to repair with polyester at a later date it, it's actually uh not as good is it so you the epoxy is much much better at biting into that surface is it so that's the same with the ampro as it was the 106 i take it is it epoxy ha has you know a, a natural ability to stick to average absolutely everything whereas polyester probably only in the green phase does that so yeah exactly the same simon thanks for that phil that's uh, perfect okay 